today we are working on projects and we are skateboarding. <laughs> Yeah, and now my camera set up. It's an evolution of an amazing design. Hello! Why is it important for you to wear home clothes at work? Home clothes? What yeah. are you trying to say, Angus? I don't know, I think it's just about like being comfortable, being yourself. Well, I think something that we definitely have here is that you bring your full self to work, you know? Yourself in your social life and yourself at work should be the same and I think I would wear this in my normal life so I'd wear this at work. How do you think it helps you with your workflow? I don't know, I like to be comfortable so I like wearing my trainers, I just want something that's like nice to work in, do you know what I mean? Like I don't want to be wearing anything that's like effort, you know? You're interrupting really serious what's, work. What's on your head? My third eye. Yeah, yeah, it actually really helps open up my mind and come up with creative strategic ideas. Why do you think it's important to have three eyes in your head? Is that a real question? Because I don't have a funny enough answer for it. Well, as a creative, I do my best work when I don't feel like I have to, I don't know, act a certain way or be performative in a certain way. I feel like I just want to feel like myself because I'm weird and I think best when I'm my weird self. Does that make any sense at all? Hi, oh, my name's Angus. I'm here to party. <laughs> Go on, Angus. Why do you wear this to work. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I think it's important because it just makes people feel more personally happy and I think like them being personally happy allows it to be put into what you're making. Do you agree, Kira? Yeah. Kira, why do you think it's important to have an informal work environment? It allows you to say you and when you go suited and booted, you just become almost like a number and like it doesn't show your personality like we're meant to do in a creative mm. industry. Do you like my new setup? Yes. Great. Apart from the fact that there's a penny ball, which makes me feel a bit ill. Alright then. Why are you wearing home clothes right now? So I left my school uniform at home today. I can't even imagine wearing a suit to the office. I can see that there are some benefits to having people in some kind of standardised outfit, but I think people should be able to feel comfortable at work, they should be able to bring themselves to work. I just can't, I honestly just can't imagine wearing a suit to work. There are policies at this company that have evolved from me not wanting to make one rule for myself and one rule for everyone else. There are things that I just would not cope very well with. So for instance, I like that we start the office any time before 10 a.m. We don't force people into being at a particular time, but no, in general, I think giving people more flexibility and more freedom and not trying to like force people to be motivated, but finding ways to motivate people outside of just forcing them to be excited is much nicer. <laughs> hey. Why am I allowed to sit on a table? Why is everyone here wearing home clothes? Why is everyone talking like they're not at work? We're just living our best lives, you know? I think it just means that you can focus on the tasks at hand, not having to pretend to be something or not having to like live up to someone else's kind of expectations. Obviously we're all here, we're all respectable, mature individuals. As long as the results are there and no one gets hurt in the process, do what you like on the way. The way in which people are held accountable isn't by dressing a certain way or the things we can see, but it's more monitoring their performance and the data. So I think that the fact that we have this ability to monitor people's performance more so with data and technology means that we can focus on their output and less so on necessarily how they present themselves or anything else. Show us that battle scar. Show us your wound. Bad boy, I've cleaned it up though, it's not too bad. Why is this informal thing such an important presence? Because who cares who you are or what you do or what you look like as long as you're a nice person. Uh, as long as your work is good. Because in our industry we're fortunate that it's all about the output. It doesn't matter how you get there or who gets you there as long as it's good and it looks great. Having the freedom to walk around the office in a pair of sliders and, and, and be comfortable means that you're comfortable to, you know, you're giving yourself everything to be able to create what you want to create. I've done my absolute best to, for us to build a culture here that is a relatively flat management structure, that's been very open and honest, that is, you know, informal, it's not massively hierarchical. Like, me in general, my ultimate objective is to allow people to bring as much as themselves and be as honest about at work as to who they are and what they want to do and what they want to achieve as possible. I think that playing these weird political games I just, I put, it just doesn't really sit with me and I just don't like working at a company like that. I don't like the idea of running a company like that. So I like that Angus, if I come up with a bad idea, can tell me 
he doesn't like it, as long as people's intentions are in the right place. So as long as people aren't acting in a self-interested way, we're all working towards a common goal. As long as people hear each other out and show each other common courtesy, I have no problem with how that takes shape, but you know, we need to make sure that we have an inclusive and kind and empathetic culture um, for everyone. Oh, <laughs>